in this video i'm going to talk about the different kinds of job opportunities in uh, quant finance i'm also going to talk about the different soft fields in quantitative finance and i'll discuss how you can uh, find opportunities in different uh, soft fields in in quant finance so those who are uh, hearing uh, about quantitative finance for the first time let me introduce to you that quantitative finance is uh, a combination of mathematics uh, coding and and finance so people who work in quant finance they use uh, mathematical models statistical models or machine learning models to solve problems in finance right and they also use coding for that and uh, work in this uh, area as known as quants and they work at banks and trading firms and pension funds and and various insurance companies and fintechs and so on they mostly come from maths uh, statistics engineering uh, economics finance you know uh, this quantitative background uh, for uh, quants there are a number of potential employer uh, but some of these uh, well known are like the banks uh, nbfcs and insurance trading firms asset management firm consulting firms and rating agencies uh, in fact uh, you can find hundreds of these companies uh, around the world that hire uh, quants <coughs> for different kind of roles but the biggest employer uh, is of course uh, the banks okay all kinds of bank investment banks corporate banks retail banks small banks large banks and so on nbfc is the non banking financial corporations uh the new is fintech firms they also hire quants insurance sector also hire hires uh, uh quants for various roles reinsurance as well trading firms various types of trading firms they hire quants and quantitative trading has become very popular nowadays asset management firms nowadays hire quants they uh were not into too much quantitative stuff some time back but uh, every asset management uh firm nowadays uh, has a dedicated quant department consulting firms like big four consulting firms but also management consulting firms and there are many boutique consulting firms that hire quants uh because you know they they work for insurance firms they work for banks and trading firms asset management firms and they do quantitative work for such companies and hence they hire quants rating agencies like s&p moody's they also hire quants so there are a number of areas where you can find opportunities to work as a quant right but there are broad a few broad areas of quantitative finance one is quantitative trading um so it's about finding short term opportunities in the market and making money out of that so it's about buying and selling in a short span of time and there are various types of quantitative trading um uh, but quantitative trading is you know essentially using mathematical models to find opportunities in the uh, financial market and quantitative trading can be in any asset class it may not just be in in equities which are very famous but also in other asset classes for example in commodities in um, in host of other things quant research is different than quant trading although many people confuse with that quant research is again because quant trading companies do have their quant research department as well so you could also work as a quant researcher so who you know do the research work but don't take the final decision of where to put the money and it's the traders that actually take that decision uh, and not the researcher researcher are mostly the back end people or people who work uh, in the research but not face the customers not do uh, the trading themselves and so on but in uh, asset management firms like pension funds and those places quant research is very different right is uh, quant researchers also take important decisions like where to put the money where to invest and they do the research but it's not just about finding short term opportunities in the financial markets it's more about long term investment right and that 
area of investment uh, is actually now quite popular. Uh, it was not that popular, let's say 10, 15, 20 years back. It was more of a value-based research and so on. It was more qualitative research. But now quantitative research is extremely uh, important in the field of asset management. You know, all kinds of firms like mutual funds, uh, sovereign wealth funds, pension funds, they all use quantitative research for investment decision making. Uh, quant risk modeling is an area where most quants work. Quant risk modeling has to do with uh, working on uh, risk management area, building models for risk management purposes, especially in the banking world and insurance world. And there are various areas of risk management, for example, credit risk management in the case of lending, market risk management in the case of trading, pricing of different financial assets, that could be one area. So quant risk modeling is about building models in the risk management area and uh, you have such uh, job profiles in banks and insurance firms but also trading firms and asset management firms do hire quant risk modelers as well. And you have also economists working as quants in various firms, for example, macro hedge funds or research firm dedicated to economic research, they uh, do a lot of quantitative work, they also hire quantitative economists. The many profiles which are somewhat similar to the data science, generic data science profiles or generic product profiles, but that require deep knowledge of models and risk management and finance and compliance. So you need to have sufficient knowledge of finance and models used in finance or the mathematical models used in finance. Not all models used in finance are used in other industries. So that you need to know. So these are areas where you can find different opportunities. Let me go a bit deeper into each of these areas. In quant trading, the job profile is very, very unique actually. Right? It's one kind of a job profile where you are not supposed to be an expert in finance, but you need to have a strong background in mathematics and, and coding. And you, you need to be a really smart guy. right? Quant trading companies don't care much about your knowledge of finance. They will teach you some finance, some knowledge of finance or trading or some knowledge of different financial products uh, helps. However, it's not a prerequisite, right? And it's a very competitive area. Many people want to get into quantitative trading, but not many can get into it simply because there's simply not many jobs. But it's quite lucrative. The pays are quite great and it's not for everyone. It's quite a stressful job what I have uh, experienced and what I have uh, heard from people. But this sector is quite booming nowadays, especially after COVID. This sector is actually booming. There are more and more trading firms starting their quantitative department, research department, trading departments, and doing quant stuff. And this is happening all across the globe. So people interested in quantitative trading, this is a golden moment in my view. If you really want to get into this, you should, but make sure that, you know, you also have backup options because there's simply not many opportunities for now. It is, although it is growing, maybe in the future, there'll be more and more opportunities, but uh, yeah, the entry barrier is quite, quite high. Quant research is one area where you will find mostly PhDs work. Actually, I've, I've experienced this that, uh, uh, the asset management firm, the sovereign wealth management firms, they hire mostly, you know, economists or statisticians who have done PhDs in some finance or quantitative finance topic, they hire them. But that has changed nowadays. You see uh, people without having PhD even going into this field and working there, you know, in, in Europe, I see many with even just match bachelor or master's degree of working there. Good to have a CFA because this is more into investment. So having a CFA does add value to your CV and you need to have strong background in financial econometrics. Quantitative research in asset management firms is mostly econometrics and almost rarely mass machine learning. So if you're too much into data science machine learning, that won't help much. You really need to understand time series modeling, the details about like arch, guards, 
vector auto regression that kind of models regression models but more in econometrics way not in machine learning ways and uses in finance understanding of corporate finance understand you know you should be able to read balance sheets uh, you should be able to value a company and you know all those uh, concepts are portfolio theory and portfolio management you know the core finance topics are also quite useful you should have good understanding of risk management as well this is also an area that is growing quite fast i have seen this uh, more and more companies in the asset management side that were hardly hiring quants or quantitative people in the past and now hiring quants right even the like the vc firm like venture capital firms um i remember uh, being contacted couple of years back by a vc firm for a, for a job for a uh, quant job in in their company and i was a bit surprised that these firms also do quantitative research nowadays so you will find opportunity not just in you know research firms or you know asset management firms investing in the public market but also vc firms and pe firms the private equity firms which are more into uh the private market right and uh, even they do quantitative research and there you can find opportunity although the number of opportunities vc and pe firms is is much less compared to what you can find in other such firms like mutual funds and and uh, the sort of sovereign wealth funds and pension funds quant risk modeling you really need to have knowledge about a number of things this is one area where most of the quants work and this is the entry value is perhaps the lowest compared to other profiles that i have so far discussed simply because for banks insurance firms especially the big ones right they need to do a lot of quantitative work to meet regulatory requirements the us banks the european banks the asian bank middle eastern banks african banks you, you name it in all jurisdictions banks have to meet regulations and some banks especially the international banks have to comply with uh, regulations from multiple regulators so they need to build models for that and for that purpose they hire quants from various backgrounds various quantitative academic backgrounds whether it's statistics econometrics finance engineering science it's not a problem uh, what i've experienced is that most quants work in quant risk modeling are either from stats econometrics or from physics maths background but also i see nowadays more and more engineering graduates post graduates uh, computer science post graduates working in this this field right if you have cfa frm it does help understanding of risk management regulation understanding of some finance does help if uh, someone with just a strong Uh, modeling background and coding background that's not always enough you need to und- have proper understanding of financial products regulations with these financial products it's important okay in order to work as a quant economist actually you need to be an economist right you will not be given an opportunity if you are not a trained economist although there are some exceptions i have come across but most people who work as quant researcher in economic research firms those who cater to you know different activities of various banks and insurance firms they have to be economists themselves banks themselves also hire specialized economists to do research on different sectors but also different uh, areas of macroeconomy every bank has a macroeconomic research department they do research work for that company for you know for for example doing research on on housing sector doing research on uh interest rates doing research on geopolitical risk doing research on election outcome or doing research on different sectors for example you know food and agriculture oil and gas sector how climate risk is going to impact and so on doing research on esg so these are research roles but quantitative focus that means you need to use data and econometric statistical models to uh gain insights from 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 the data the economic data that you have uh most people are from the economics background however i have also seen people from statistics finance mba background also working in 
in these fields and very lucrative field by the way if you have a non-finance background and yet you have done frm and cfa you can also apply and i have seen in fact some people who have no uh, finance background but they have done cfa and frm or they simply have read a lot about finance and economics they also work in such fields and they do really well a rating agency also hires such people they do sector based research you know moody's and snps and fitch but they also have rating agency in almost all countries in the world right they hire quants for variety of work especially for economic research they work but they also do corporate research for example you know building rating models and so on so there also you can find opportunities well there are many other areas where you can find opportunity in, in fact even tech firms hire quants you'll be surprised to know that even firms like uh, google microsoft they have their quant departments uh, consulting firms uh, in the it space for example accenture uh, ibm they have the quant departments you have quant departments even in uh, in fintech companies almost all fintech companies have nowadays asset management and wealth management uh, depart sub departments so there also they hire quants so the many areas but i just discussed uh, the, the the main ones and um, beyond that you can also work as a quant developer these are people who work in the quantitative areas but they are software developer okay so people who develop software or they work on the data side or build software systems for so, uh, implementation of models uh, so you know the job profile is mostly 80% coding right it's, it's it's mostly a software engineering role but it is in the in the finance field where you use some quantitative stuff you use some models or regulations so on so the quantitative part is about 20 30% or probably even less sometimes so amazing career especially if you have a software engineering background many software engineers want to switch to finance at some point in their career many people reach out to me even quantitative development is one really good area because that really combines your core skill set which is software development and you are also interested in finance so it combines both and that's one good way of entering or moving from core software engineering to becoming a quant developer and then if you want to really become a quant modeler in the in the future that also you can do later on and it's low entry barrier nobody will expect you to have uh, experience in this field already although you know if you have experience that's preferred more you could also work as a data scientist more uh, generic data scientist or a product manager in finance companies there's many such profiles especially in, in fintechs and in short insurance tech companies uh, but but it's important that you should also have strong knowledge of finance risk compliance if you come from e-commerce background you have worked in e-commerce as a data scientist you will still be hired in finance but people will still check you whether you have interest in finance or not whether you have some knowledge of finance or not in fact it's not always easy because what i have seen is that if working as a data scientist in in finance banking is somewhat more lucrative so there are more and more people interested so unless you have the knowledge of some finance and risk management uh, you will not have a great chance of making it but you can always read more about it. i mean that's not the core thing that's not the that's a prerequisite so in some places maybe this is a prerequisite Uh, but it, you could find opportunity so if you have a quant background right quantitative finance background you could also find opportunities to work as a data scientist in different uh, banking and financial service companies all right so that's something i wanted to share with you if you have questions as always do not hesitate to reach out to me i do have a quant finance certification course it covers a number of topics uh it covers a wide range of topics for example uses of mathematics statistics in the field of finance financial econometrics asset pricing credit risk modeling market risk modeling machine learning and use uses in the field of finance uh and also you learn a bit about corporate finance risk management and so on you will do a project at the end of the course if you're interested let me know you can reach out